A heartbreaking image of the Queen's funeral procession past her beloved horse, Emma, has been published by the royal family. At her ultimate farewell last month, Emma the fell pony watched as the coffin carrying her loving owner was driven past on the long walk as it approached Windsor Castle. The 1996-born black pony has a portrait that was made public by Buckingham Palace. The Queen's dependable stud groom and manager at Windsor Castle, Terry Pendry, had Emma stand in a gap amongst the hundreds of thousands of flower tributes during the ceremonial procession last month. Mr. Pendry, who has worked in the Queen's household for the past 25 years, was seen accompanying the Queen's coffin as it arrived at Windsor Castle as Emma was seen standing at the side of the road. One of the late monarch's floral headpieces, which she frequently appeared in photographs wearing whether riding, traveling, or watching the races, was laid across the saddle of the pony. Fans also took notice of the pony's apparent curtsy to the queen at that same time, with one writing, did the queen's pony Emma just courtesy as the queen passed by? Mr. Pendry lowered his head as the coffin passed while wearing a bowler hat, a black jacket, and riding boots. Behind them stood grooms from Windsor's Royal Muse sporting black armbands as a sign of sadness. As the Queen's coffin passed by in the state hearse with a military parade, Emma's ears twitched, she waved her tail, and she stomped twice with one of her front hooves. Emma, a horse purchased by the Queen in 2004, was formally referred to by Mr. Pendry as a wonderful servant to Her Majesty and one of her favorite ever horses. Over the past 15 years, the Queen has often ridden Emma for short rides in the grounds around Windsor Castle. At 90 years old, the Queen was seen riding Emma. According to the palace, Emma will continue to receive excellent affection and care at the Royal Muse in Windsor. When Emma, whose full name is Carlton Lima Emma, was purchased by the Queen as an eight-year-old pony, she went on to enjoy a brief but fruitful career in competition. At the Devon County Show in June 2006, she received the title of Cuddy Supreme Champion. She also qualified for the Horse of the Year show ridden finals and the Olympics during her career. Mountain and the Supreme Championship Final of Moorland Emma returned to Windsor's Royal Muse after retiring in December 2007. The Royal Groom stated that Emma has been a wonderful servant to Her Majesty and is still going strong at the age of 24, in his speech from 2020. To commemorate the Diamond Jubilee, the 90th birthday celebrations, and the Platinum Jubilee, she participated in three pageants at the Royal Windsor Horse Show. The Queen was well known for her lifelong love of horses, which began when her grandfather, King George V, presented her with a Shetland pony named Peggy. She gained experience as a horse rider, owner, and breeder, and her enthusiasm for them was clear at racing meets, including the Epsom Derby and Royal Ascot. The Queen frequently observed her own horses compete and saw some memorable victories. Her horse Landau won the Rouse Memorial Stakes and the Hardwick Stakes on June 18, 1954, respectively. The Queen won four races during Ascot Week in 1957, and in 2013, her thoroughbred estimate became her the first reigning monarch to win the Royal Ascot Gold Cup. In 1975, her horse Highclere won the Prix de Diane at Chantilly. The Queen helped to ensure the survival of several unique breeds of horses and ponies. Through breeding programs in both her private and working yards that bred. Horses used for royal and state events. Highland ponies, fell ponies, and Cleveland Bays were among the breeds championed by the Queen.